What's up everybody? Miss Mo here. Welcome back to my channel. Thank you so much for joining me and tuning in. And if, and if, <laughs> and if this is your first time, welcome and thank you so much for dropping by, spending some of your also very valuable time with your girl Miss Mo. Shout out to all of my motivators out there. What's up? What's good? What's going zones today so I've been wanting to do this video for a long time and so this video is about what hold on <laughs> hold on a minute I want to make sure I say this right because you know I just got to make sure I say it right and so this video is what I don't like about some styles of clothing and how some women style them. Now, you know, <laughs> you know, I, I post a few little fashion things here and there, and you know, I give you my little OOTDs and you know all of that and I'm gonna say right now in no way shape or form am I a professional as far as in the fashion world and all of this I just share what I wear what I like to wear and I give you you know hopefully I'm giving you a few ideas and in, in inspo fashion inspo and in, in all of that especially for women over 50 so you know that's why I do you know the fashion uh, creativity and the fashion videos that I do give you so you know I've been seeing a lot a lot a lot of this for quite some time and I'm finally getting around to uh, doing this type of video about you know some of the things I don't like about you know a lot of the styles of clothing and, and, and everything that, that people are making so if you want to see what's going on, what I have to say about all of that, please keep on watching. Alright, so, thing is, I, hopefully I can give you some examples you know on the screen let's, let's try to get right into it because there's a uh, there's just a lot that I don't agree with as far as fashion and of course people have choices I have choices just like anybody else and I choose what I want to wear and if I don't want to wear it I don't wear it I'm just pointing out what I don't like and as far as for a woman that is over 50 I am over 55 to be exact so I'm over that so I you know I just want to share this with you because I'm quite sure a lot of you have been seeing it as well and just to point out um, this well for me because I am more on the conservative side anyways but this does affect um, how I shop, where I shop, you know, uh, uh, you know, like online in store, what I can buy, what I don't want to buy, you know, the very um, limited selection when it comes to uh, certain stores and certain and, uh, makers and, and uh, you know, just art, artists and, you know, f fashion, you know what I'm trying to say stores and, and, and stuff I can't I can't get the right word what I'm trying to say but designers that is the word designers so you know when, when I come across this stuff it's like a big turn off it's it's a it's a limitation for me so without further ado blah 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 let's get into it so these are, these are just a few things that I came up with. I know that I am probably missing a, a lot, but these are a few things that I came up with. And so the first thing on my list of, you know, uh, what I don't like about some styles of clothing and how some women style them is uh, shirt or blazer open in the front. 
Now what I mean by this is a button down shirt or even a shirt that has no buttons, but you know, that's rare. But anyway, a button down shirt or any type of blazer that, you, you know, the women put on, but then it's, you know, it, it, it's, it, it's, it's open here and then you crack me up when you do the crisscross with the shirt, but then you're not buttoning it. You're crisscrossing it, but then you got all of this showing still, or you uh, got a bra on, and then you have a, just a blazer on, and that's it. Or you have a blazer on and nothing underneath, nothing. But then you call yourself putting the sticky tape here to, you know, right there just to cover I don't get it. I don't understand it. And of course, everyone can't wear that if you choose to wear that. Okay? I get it. But, you know, for, for certain women, for more conservative women, such as myself, I don't care for it. Like I said, of course, everybody can do what they want to do. I am just giving my reaction and my opinions and my take on these things. That's it. So don't be trying to come for me in the comments. I'm just telling you what I don't like as far as what I've been seeing for a long time in the fashion industry. Next, when the entire garment is sheer. So this is geared towards the sheer, the all sheer uh, dresses or the long maxi dresses or the supposed gowns that are all sheer material with, you know, you'll have designs on them or flowers or whatever it is, but the garment is still see-through. It is sheer. So that means you have to wear whatever type of undergarment that you're going to wear with it, be it, you know, a bodysuit, be it a pair of a uh, thong or a panty, whatever, and then the, or the nipple covers and all of that. I... <sighs> I mean, why? What for? You know, and then, you know, I, I could hear. You know, I could hear it. I could hear it. Oh, well, if you got, if you got it, flaunt it. If you got the body for it, wear it. Why? <laughs> what for? Why? But you know, that's the day and age that we live in. I get it. I don't agree with it, but I get it. But let's move on. Next thing is, Wearing the wrong undergarments with sheer clothing. Now, you know, if you're going to wear sheer clothing, at least wear proper undergarments. At least wear something that you know, because you're showing everything underneath. You're going to be able to see right through the, 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 the garment. So therefore, that to me, that means, okay... Whatever I'm going to wear underneath as the undergarment, it's got to be pretty, cute, sexy. It's got to be, it's got to be it. It's got to be that thing. You know what I mean? If I'm going to do it, I got to wear a, a pretty bra, whatever it is. I got to wear a cute little thong or a bodysuit or whatever it is. I, that, I don't care for that kind of stuff, but seeing it thrown in your face for so long you see what different people wear and it's like oh okay that's how they're styling or oh okay that's what they're gonna wear underneath that you know what i mean so i'm just saying if you're gonna do it and yeah, do it right you know that that's seems like a no-brainer next thing is skirts and dresses that are way too short in my opinion in my opinion now okay a mini skirt a mini dress all right i see we all know what they look like but to me there's a line that should not be crossed when you're talking about mini anything now short Skirts and dresses, to me, should not stop right below your coochie, your private part. 
it should not stop right there. It should be a little longer to me. Now, you know, I'm, I'm, I'm old school. You know, I can't help that. I'm old school. I'm conservative, like I keep saying. Many for me, as far as what I'm, I've, I've grown up with, and I still see it, many for me, uh, I would say half thigh. Half thigh. Let me see. Half thigh. Okay. And I've seen shorter than that, too. But for me, many means half thigh. That's just me. Anything shorter than that, I, 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 I don't know. I, I, what, what? I, and, I, and I'll constantly say, what for? What's the point? I, I, okay, I, I get it. You, you're cute. You're pretty. You're sexy. Whatever. But it's like, dad, y'all got to wear this stuff all the time. You have nothing else to wear. And, you know, you, you want to, you, you don't leave anything to the imagination. I know a lot of guys out there like, like that. They don't mind it. That, that's what they sign up for. I don't understand. It, it, I don't know. It's like, what are you... You know, the, the, the way that you dress says a lot about you. You know what I mean? The way that you dress says a lot about you. Be it something sheer, be it half naked, be it a lot of cleavage, be it a skirt or a dress stopping right below your coochie, be it behind out, be, you know what I mean? Be, be it all of that type of things. That, th those things say a lot about the person that's wearing it. You know what I mean? What, uh... What, um, what are you trying to put across? What message are you trying to send? You know what I mean? If you don't care, you don't care. I get that too. You know what I mean? But, but what message are you trying to send? Then, you know, you know, y'all might come for me for this, but I'm going to say it anyways. And I've said in other videos, it's like what you put out, that's what you're going to attract. It don't matter. Because it, it, it's it's bad enough if you wear those types of things, those clo that type of clothing and garments and stuff. If you wear that type of stuff, that's the kind of attention that you're going to get. If you want that type of attention, okay, you do, like they say, you do you, boo-boo. But if you want to wear that type of stuff, then somebody may step to you that what you don't want. And you, oh, and you're just being disrespectful. Oh. Really? <laughs> oh, am I really? Well, look what you got on. Butt crack hanging out. Chest hanging out. Oh, but I ain't supposed to be looking. Or, oh, God forbid, if somebody tries to put their hands on you. Not saying it's right. Don't get me wrong. I ain't saying it's right. But come on now. All right. You know. Went all off on a tangent as usual. Next thing is clothing that's way too tight. Now I get it. Got a lot of us women out here, we got curves. You know, we, we, we got a little bit more in, in another place, in some places than other places. You know, uh, women with curves, we have, you know, a lot of issues with finding certain clothing that fit us correctly in the waist, which is kind of like never. We always got to get things altered and tailored. So, you know, I, I, I get it because some things, some things are going to be a little form fitting. I get it. And specifically, let's start off with jeans. Some jeans are going to be form fitting. Some jeans are not specifically made for women with curves. You know what I mean? It, it just is because, you know, all a lot of women, I'm quite sure that that is an ongoing uh, task when we're going out trying to buy a pair of jeans. It, it's a job because it fit us good in the hips, but not in the waist or good in the waist, but not in the hips. So, you know. Jeans are going to be form-fitting depending on what kind of jeans that you buy. If you buy them big or if you buy them, you know, to, to fit fit. You know, so I don't believe and I don't think that we should be putting on things that like kind of cutting off your circulation. You know, 
like and like I, I go back again to say you leave nothing to the imagination a pair of jeans is a pair of jeans okay fine and you know God gave you what he gave you but then well let's 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 you know <laughs> let's think this through here let's think this through and now when we talk about dresses that are way too tight oh my god oh my god you know it just it, it, it's just it's just crazy the way I the, what I be seeing it's like it's just it's just disgusting it's like really that's what you're wearing that that you, you, and, and then you the, the 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 dress is too tight for you first of all it's gonna be it's too tight because you got it like I don't know how many sizes smaller second thing is you can't even walk in it you can't even walk in it why would anybody buy a dress get a dress made or a gown made whatever that you cannot walk in i remember seeing someone at the uh, met gala gown was a beautiful gown was gorgeous of course they get there of course you know you got to go up a whole bunch of steps her husband had to help her up stupid anyway she could she could barely walk in the dress it's like why why would you get it next thing is clothing that should be worn at home versus outside all right so a lot of these things a lot of clothing should be worn inside in the confines of your own home with your uh you know girlfriend or with your boyfriend whatever floats your boat in my opinion a lot of the stuff that people are wearing out is disgusting you want all this attention you're screaming attention you're screaming oh look at me look at me and then god forbid something happened you know what you, you know what i mean it, it, I just don't understand it. But a lot of these things should be worn at home. You know what I mean? Too tight, too short, too sheer. You know what I mean? Too low, too low. I mean, really, it, it, a lot of these things should be worn at home. And, you know, who I, I think there are other people out here, for other designers, other makers. Prime example of a clothing place, uh, making a lot of garments and clothing that you know good and daggone well shouldn't be worn in the street you know a prime suspect <laughs> prime suspect you know what i'm not yeah you know what i'm gonna prime suspect of doing that is fashion over i said it fashion over not to say that fashion over don't make nice things yeah there's a lot of things that Fashion Nova makes that are really nice. That you can wear it, fine, presentable. You can go out of the house with it on. Other stuff, man, listen. Every single time I go on Instagram, that's all I see. Is all the uh, is nine out of ten women that I see modeling Fashion Nova things. First of all, stuff should be worn in the house. Or a romantic evening or lounging around whatever you want to do that's the first thing second thing is mostly everybody that they show they got their body done it's like your proportions are way off if you're going to do it do it right you know not to say everybody that you know models the fashion over stuff has gotten their body done no but nine times out of ten yeah you got this big old butt you got this big old chest you got this tiny waist but you forgot to do your legs you got to do your legs you look fake as all I is I don't know what but the clothing should be worn in the house really it, it should be but then you know what 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 type of attention are you looking for what message are you trying to send but you know to to each his own so uh, got two more things so next thing is wearing no bra okay so i think if 
You are. <laughs> I think if you are of a certain cup size, I, you know, do what you want. You, you know, you're going to do what you want. You know, that's your right. Now, I also have my right to voice my opinion, too. I think if you are past a certain cup size, you, you don't need to go without a bra. And I mean, you know, if you decide to wear nothing and let them all hang out, I think you're, you're too big for that. Now, if you wear certain things made specifically for not wearing a bra so you can you know wear certain tops and dresses and stuff that don't require you to wear a bra you know they make certain things that you put over your breast that you know no straps just you know pasties and all that stuff you do you go on go for it i would rather you do that than just what they call it commando <laughs> Just with nothing at all. Just everything. Just hanging all out. Dangling all around. I don't know. Guys, they don't care. They welcome that kind of stuff to look at and, you know, be all nasty for. Me? I don't think it's, I don't think it's classy at all. Not at all. Now, like I said... If you are past a certain cup size, I really don't think that is a good look. But if you're going to do it, do it right. Get the correct things to put over your breasts. To lift them up or at least put something over your uh, nipples so they won't be seen. You know, if you want to wear that, you know, shirt with no bra or that dress or that gown, whatever it is. And it like, you know, you get the back out or you know, sleeveless or whatever it is. I would rather you do that rather than just going cold turkey, nothing at all, just everything hanging all out. And it's very, very noticeable because, and I said this before, because everybody is not part of the itty bitty titty committee. <laughs> Let me say that again. Everybody cannot and is not part of the itty bitty titty committee. Yeah. You can't get around that. You can't get around it. So I think to keep it classy, to keep it classy, get your un get your under stuff, you know, uh, go getting correct. Get, get the correct stuff if you want to wear that kind of stuff. They, they sell all types of these things for us ladies. They really do. I think it'll be more classy for you if you do it the right way if you're going to do it at all you know what i mean so wrap this up last thing is crop tops that are too high so you know you got these because it's like it's, it's, it seems like they're cropping everything you, you can't get you can't get past it. Seems like they're cropping everything. They're cropping button-down shirts. They're cropping sweaters. They're cropping, you know, jackets, uh, blazers. You know, you name it. They're trying. They're crop. They're cropping it. Oh my God! The dog are bark. That's barking. You name it. They're trying to crop it. And so, okay, there are certain, you know, lengths of crop tops too. Either they're gonna. Sorry, either they're going to come up here or they're going to come right, right above your waist or right at your waist. You know what I mean? Because those are, there are different types of crop tops as far as how low, how, how high or low that they come. You know what I mean? So I, you know, I just think, I just think that you need to be mindful and also you know how they put on sweaters and shirts and all of that. They're not cropped. But then, here we go, stick it in under our bras, making it into way up here. It's like, I mean, come on. I mean, way up here. Not, you know, not like to the waist. Yeah, you got to do, 
You know what I mean? Why you got to do? <laughs> I, I don't understand. I, I don't get it. There's, there's no, you know, there's just no leaving anything to the imagination anymore. Everything is cut out and got holes and showing that you ain't got no underwear on or showing that you ain't got no bra on or showing the beginning of your butt crack. You know, it's just so, it's just so tiring, so exhausting. It's, it's, it's played, to me, to me, it's played out. To me. A, a, a lot of this, what I'm talking to you about, it's played out. Because it's been going on and on and on and on and on and on. It's like, okay, can we do something different? Can we get back to basics? Because everything comes around in the fashion world. Everything comes around. And when it comes back around, it comes back with a twist. It always does. But when, you know, when things are coming back around and when you designers are, you know, trying to, you know, create and, and, and all of that. It's like, can we just... Can we just try to get back to, to the basics of just a little bit, slowly, just a little bit? I know you ain't, you're not going to just go cold turkey and just stop doing that all together. No, I, I know that. But come on. Can we just, I don't know. And for me, it's frustrating. It is. I don't know if anybody else feels that way. You know, because I know what I'm talking about. Is not appealing to is uh, is not appealing and will not be appealing to a lot of people. I get that. It's not a you know a, a popular topic that people want to talk about. But you know, I'm voicing my opinion. This is my two cents. You know, and I just want to know in the comment section does okay who agrees with me and why who doesn't agree with me and why and who's on the fence and really don't know what to think <laughs> you know just 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 weigh in i just want to know leave, leave me something in the comment section let me know let me know what y'all think let me know what y'all feeling and again i will say this these are my thoughts and my opinions about you know the, the fashion industry and designers and, and stuff like that and yeah you know I just, I, I just wish that, you know, stuff was just a little more, um, I don't know, friendly to wear. <laughs> um, what was I going to say? Um, and, you know, I do realize that a lot of designers are trying to make a lot of uh, outfits, um, what is it, unisex, unisex being able for be, you know making it so men both men and women can wear these uh, garments and, and outfits and, and all of that so they're trying to be all you know all inclusive to uh different uh you know uh, genders and, and all of that nothing against that however you know i don't know but that's it for this video. That's all. I hope that you have enjoyed this video about, you know, what what are, what are some of the things that I don't like about uh, the styling of some clothing and the way some women style them. I've been wanting to do this video for a while. I finally did it. And so I am happy that I got it out of my system. <laughs> and so that's it, ladies and gentlemen. Um, don't forget to like, comment, share, and subscribe. Follow your girl on social media. And I will see you in the next video. And like I always say, let's talk.